Commander, your Sunspear ruse seems to have succeeded. The Awakened are on high alert, and earlier the Order spotted Iberu en route here to the palace. So, we find the Archon, take him out, then use Kaz's imposter trick to take his place, right? It's not a trick. Mesmers don't do tricks. We utilize illusion. Yeah, yeah. You guys are worse than elementalists. <sighs> no offense, Commander. You! You're the outlander from the casino. You're lucky I don't have time to deal with you right now. Take the Archon out! Quickly! Accelerate! Soldiers, you squander your life force! Surrender it to me! Infuriate! No! To me! Take you out myself. I know you missed me. Now that the really Beru's out of the picture, it's time to bring in the imposter. Kaz? Uh, I'm not looking forward to looking like an Awakened, but go on, mesmerize me. Okay, one Archon and his entourage, coming up. There. So, how do I look? Like something that's been dead and buried for a year, then dug up and dragged back to life. How about me? Uh, same. Let's just hope this fool's the Vizier. Now they'll feel my turbulence! Well, I can see why they call this the Bone Palace. Are those centaur bones? I guess Joko hates to see any dead body go to waste. If you're a human, you're awakened. If you're a centaur, you're architecture. Archon! Oh no, I attacked Archon Ibero. It... it was an accident. Please forgive me, Archon. So does your arrival mean the Sunsphere Uprising has been crushed? Like it never existed. I'm here to deliver plans for King Joko's next great victory to Grand Vizier Utumishi. Of course, Archon. The Grand Vizier is inside, conferring with War Marshal Ikolo. Please don't tell Utumishi I attacked an Archon. Please! Of course, King Joko. Grand Vizier Utumishi. Archon Iberu, welcome. I trust you've come to quell this unrelenting Sunspear insurgency. I bring orders from King Joko, who commands that we turn our might against the true threat, the fallen god Balthazar. He has tasked me with leading his army against the disgraced deity. I trust that you will make the necessary arrangements. I'm honored, Archon, but also confused. 
I didn't realize Joko had returned. And you know that in his wisdom, Joko has only given me authority over civil matters, not military. Perhaps I misspoke. That's quite unlike you, Archon. You're usually so precise. Or perhaps you misheard me. You must forgive Urumishi, Archon. He can't possibly understand how little attention heroes of battle, such as you and I, pay to the job descriptions of civil servants. I should hope the Vizier was not questioning the direct orders of his all-seeing king. Oh, no, 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 no. I would never question the will of the most munificent Joko. Unlike my dear acquaintance, I pledge to you the unquestioned fealty of myself and my Worm Corps. I trust Marshals Ogun and Aronko will do the same. And how might I contact the other Marshals? You'll find Troop Marshal Ogun at his camp southeast of Beijing. He's currently training new recruits there. And Beast Marshal Aronko is drilling the kingdom's cavalry from atop a plateau near the necropolis. King Joko will be told of your assistance, Worm Marshal. And Vizier, I promise your name will come up as well. Thank you for not mentioning my brother. Joko, I beg you, Archon, please. He scares me. You're a disgrace to the youth. Well played, Commander. You have a real talent for navigating the world of bureaucratic kiss-assery. Now all we have to do is dupe the other two marshals into joining the cause. I nearly slipped up with the Vizier. We should split up. See what we can learn about the other two beforehand to avoid mistakes. Can we at least lose these disguises for now? The buzzard stairs are making me nervous. There. Better. <sighs> Much. <sighs> but I think the stench is still clinging to my fur. I believe that was there before. We'll meet up near Vejin and compare notes on the troop marshal. Good luck.